The Akasa Gecko Pro is an M.2 SSD heatsink that is the textbook definition of basic. No fancy designs, no fancy colors and no graphics apart from the Akasa logo. This is a single metal piece heatsink that will passively cool the upper part of your M.2 SSD and all this for no less than 10 US dollars or under that. But given its simplicity and the ample options for M.2 SSD heatsinks, especially those that are included with motherboards, is the Gecko Pro worth its small price? The Akasa Gecko Pro is a small M.2 SSD heatsink, made out of a single piece of metal, aluminum to be exact, and it's small, really small, with a height of just 8mm, a length of 71.5mm and a width of 22mm. In terms of the design, the Gecko Pro is simple, as it is covered by an all black coating of paint and uses no less than 15 cooling fins, each with a thickness of 1.5mm. However, these fins are installed vertically, not horizontally, the latter being the case for many SSD coolers, not the Gecko Pro though. The mounting system is simple and it is already attached to the heatsink. You essentially have two U-shaped metal pieces that are held in place on the heatsink with the help of four Phillips screws, two screws per metal piece. The underside of the heatsink has a pre-applied 1mm thick thermal pad, more than likely made by Akasa and sold as a separate unit if you want to buy a backup. One thing to note with the Gecko Pro is that the heatsink does not have a backplate and thus it will not cool the underside of your M.2 SSD. While Akasa does mention that the Gecko Pro is optimized to work with single-sided M.2 SSDs, those models are rare nowadays if we are talking about higher storage capacity SSDs. Going back to the mounting system, while it's simple, it has some adjustment. The heatsink has two set of threaded holes so you can move the metal holders a few millimeters front and back. Fortunately, these metal holders have some padding on the upper side, so you cannot cause any issues on the underside of the SSD. Issues such as scratching the PCB or the memory chips that are installed on the underside or the worst issue possible, causing a short. Fortunately, thanks to the padding, none of those can happen. The installation is easy, you peel off the protective film of the thermal pad and then remove the metallic holders and place them on the surface you work on. Place the SSD over the holders and then gently place the heatsink over the SSD, while lining up both holders. You adjust each holder to your desired position and secure them on the heatsink with the included Phillips screws. And that's it. The SSD used to test the Gecko Pro is the Silicon Power P35A80 1TB. It's a good M.2 SSD that sports a Silicon Motion SM2263 ENG controller. And thus, this SSD will get hot, with a temperature of 70 degrees Celsius with no heatsink installed and with Crystal Dismar 8 running in a loop. And with the heatsink installed on this SSD, the maximum temperature dropped by 6 degrees Celsius. Not a bad result, especially when paired with a hot SSD. In fact, such a temperature drop can make the difference between the controller of the SSD thermal throttling or not, which is a big deal, especially when we talk about the performance of the SSD. Available for 10 or under 10 US dollars, the Egasa Gecko Pro is a good choice for a regular M.2 SSD, however it has its shortcomings. One of them being the lack of a backplate and thus the lack of cooling for the underside of the SSD. While cheap, I believe that a small backplate with a thermal pad would have made some difference temperature-wise. The mounting system, while simple, it is good and does its job, and it is very easy to install and service. The main advantage of the Akasa Gecko Pro is that it's small and still manages to cool your SSD, and this is important when you are using large graphics cards or when motherboards have heatsinks and covers that might interfere with taller M.2 SSD heatsinks. Thus, if you can find the Akasa Gecko Pro for a good price, it's a good purchase, but do not use this with a high storage capacity SSD that also uses a high power controller, as there is so much heat a small SSD without a backpack can dissipate. If you like this review, then you might consider subscribing for more, and if you want to support me in a direct way, then in the description below you will find the links for both the Patreon and the Star pages of this channel.